The 1986 World Exposition on Transportation and Communication, or simply Expo 86, was a World's Fair held in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada from Friday, May 2 until Monday, October 13, 1986. The fair, the theme of which was, "...transportation and communication, world in motion, world in touch." coincided with Vancouver's centennial and was held on the north shore of False Creek. It was the second time that Canada held a World's Fair, the first being Expo 67 in Montreal during the Canadian centennial. It was also the third World's Fair to be held in the Pacific Northwest in the previous 24 years as of 1986 and as of 2019 it still stands as the last World's Fair to be held in North America. History The logo of three interlocking rings to make the 86 in the logo stood for the three main modes of transportation, land, air, and water. Background Up until the late 1970s, the 173-acre site on False Creek, where Expo was staged, was a former CPR rail yard and an industrial wasteland. In 1978, Sam Balfe then BC Minister of proposed an exposition to celebrate Vancouver's centennial year 1986. The proposal was submitted in June 1979, for a fair that was to be called, Transpo 86. In 1980, the British Columbia Legislature passed the Transpo 86 Corporation Act, paving the way for the fair. The transportation theme reflected the city's role in connecting Canada by rail, its status as a major port and transportation hub, and the role of transportation in communications. The initial idea was to have a modest $80 million transportation exposition that would mark Vancouver's 100th anniversary. It soon blossomed into a full exposition thanks to the help of the Vancouver Exposition Commissioner General at that time, Patrick Reed. The theme of transportation and communication led to the conglomeration of many different exhibits of transportation networks. This included a monorail that glided over the crowds that included a trip to every zone. Other ground transports included the Skytrain, a high-speed surface transport from Japan, and a French people mover. The transport of the sky was the gondola, a boxcar hovering high in the air. The water taxis moved along four different ports on the site. The fair was awarded to Vancouver by the Bureau International des Expositions B in November 1980. However, once it became clear that the event would be a world exposition, the name was officially changed to Expo 86 by Ambassador and Commissioner General Patrick Reed in October 1981, and, by the end of the year, Expo 86 Corporation was established as a non-profit agency responsible in the planning and operation of the fair. Local business tycoon Jim Patterson was appointed as CEO, and would eventually also become the president of the corporation. The chief architect selected was Bruno Freschi, the creative director was Ron Woodall, and Bob Smith was responsible for the production and design. Construction started in October 1983, when Elizabeth II, Queen of Canada, started a concrete mixer on the future site of the Canada Pavilion, and offered the "...invitation to the world." However, work was disrupted by labor disputes for five months. Still, Expo Center opened May 2, 1985, as a preview center for the fair. The fair was originally budgeted for a modest canned $78 million. However, final expenditures for the expanded event totaled $802 million, with a deficit of canned $311 million. Evictions. <inaudible> 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 As the city prepared to welcome an influx of visitors, more than a thousand low-income residents of Vancouver's downtown east side were evicted from their long-term homes in single-room occupancy hotels, sometimes with as little as a single day's notice. 
because tenants were subject to British Columbia's Innkeepers Act rather than the laws governing typical landlords and renters, the SRO owners were not required to give significant notice, or even written notice, of an eviction. Mike Harcourt, the city's mayor at the time, hoped provincial laws might be changed to protect these residents, but the provincial government refused. The Patricia Hotel was among those establishments that evicted most or all of its residents, including a Norwegian man named Olaf Solheim. Solheim, who had lived at the Patricia Hotel for decades, was well known in the community but was evicted with just a week's notice. Although he was found a new home, he became despondent, stopped eating, and died within a month. Vancouver's chief medical health officer at the time, John Batherwick, publicly asserted that the sudden eviction could be the cause of Solheim's death, he'd been moved from where he was to a place he didn't want to be, and he simply lost his will to live and he died. The fair Expo 86 was opened by Charles, Prince of Wales, Diana, Princess of Wales, and Prime Minister Brian Mulroney on Friday, May 2, 1986. It featured pavilions from 54 nations and numerous corporations. Expo's participants were given the opportunity to design their own pavilion or opt for the less expensive Expo module. Each module was approximately two and a half stories high and had the floor space equal to a third of a city block. The design was such that any number of the square modules could be placed together in a variety of shapes. The roof design allowed the interior exhibit space to be uninterrupted by pillars. This World's Fair was categorized as a «Class II» or «Specialized Exhibition» reflecting its specific emphases on transportation and communications. Pavilions Canadian provinces and territories Not pictured, Nova Scotia Ontario Prince Edward Island Saskatchewan Topic. Countries and international organizations Not pictured, Barbados Côte d'Ivoire Hungary Kenya South Korea Malaysia Spain Yugoslavia topic. U.S. states topic. Corporations and non-governmental organizations Air Canada BCTV set up a fully functional broadcast studio on the Expo site. The BCTV pavilion allowed visitors to see, and participate, in every step of how a television station operates, and to see how newscasts and television shows were produced. The pavilion was also used by the station for coverage of the expo, and by visiting journalists. Canadian National General Motors, had one of the more popular exhibits in its pavilion, Spirit Lodge a live show augmented with holographic effects and other special effects. It was produced by experienced designer Bob Rogers designer and the design team BRC Imagination Arts, and created with the assistance of the Quagulth Native Reserve in Alert Bay British Columbia. Via Rail Exhibit Canadian Pacific, the pavilion's main feature was the film, Rainbow War. As with the Spirit Lodge show for the General Motors Pavilion, Rainbow War was also produced by experienced designer Bob Rogers designer and the design team BRC Imagination Arts. Following the film's run at Expo 86, Rainbow War received an Oscar nomination for the Live Action Short category at the 58th Academy Awards. The film was played again for an international audience at the 1988 Summer Olympics in Seoul, Korea, as a part of the Olympic Arts Festival. Telecom Canada, featured a Circle Vision 360 degrees movie, Portraits of Canada, Images do Canada. Other pavilions and exhibits 
Great Hall of Ramses II Egypt, containing rare treasures from the life of the pharaoh, Ramesses II Great Norwegian Explorers Norway. Pavilion of Promise Christian Pavilion. Roundhouse, a renovated 1880s-era railway roundhouse and turntable. Restored historic train engine 374 was displayed here. Expo Center later Science World, now TELUS World of Science Parade of Steam, a runby of various steam locomotives from Canada, the US, and UK. This was part of a two-week exhibit called, Steam Expo. Outdoor exhibits Air Plaza Land Plaza Marine Plaza Folklife Highway 86 – A sculpture, exhibit consisting of a 217 meters four-lane concrete highway that contained various modes of transportation cars, mopeds, bikes, etc. that were frozen in time. All the real vehicles were painted a shade of light gray, and mounted in place. It was designed by SITE. Projects of New York. UFO H20, a UFO-inspired children's water playground. Topic: Theaters. Labatt's Expo Theater. Kodak Pacific Bowl. Xerox International Theatre Topic Entertainment and famous visitors Royalty, Prince Charles and Diana, Princess of Wales for the opening ceremonies, Crown Prince Harold and Crown Princess Sonia of Norway, Saudi Arabian Prince Sultan bin Salman al Saud, Prime Minister, Brian Mulroney Canada, Margaret Thatcher United Kingdom, Pierre Trudeau Former Prime Minister, Canada Vice President, George Bush United States Concerts, Einstein Neubauten, Harry Belafonte, Anne Murray, Billy Ocean, Bruce Cockburn, Miles Davis, Wynton Marsalis, Annie Lennox, Eurythmics, Julio Iglesias, Amy Grant, Loverboy, Asa, Liberace, Mormon Tabernacle Choir, Gowan, Parachute Club, Joan Baez with Don McLean, Kenny Loggins, B.B. King, Stevie Ray Vaughan, Lou Rawls and the Fifth Dimension, Idle Eyes, Honeymoon Suite, Kim Mitchell, Johnny Cash, Depeche Mode, Joe Jackson, George Thorogood plus the Delaware Destroyers, Smokey Robinson, George Benson, John Denver, The Beach Boys, Air Supply, Peter, Paul and Mary, The Manhattan Transfer, The Temptations, Rene Simard, K. D. Lang opening for Rockin' Ronnie Hawkins, Peter Allen, Sheena Easton, Trooper, Kid Creole and the Coconuts, Test Department Department, Brian Adams, The Romaniacs, Tangerine Dream, Yusu Indoor, Rolf Harris, Cool and the Gang, Roy Orbison, Fats Domino with Jerry Lee Lewis, Donovan Lilehua High School, Leighton High School Lancer Marching Band, Alta Loma High School Chamber Singers, Rancho Cucamonga, CA College Park High School Marching Band from Pleasant Hill, CA, Guston High School Marching, Sapulpa High School Choir Blue Blazed Marvels, Sapulpa OK Concert and Jazz Band from Guston Austin, CA, Cierslaw High School Band and Jazz Band, from Florence, Oregon at Oregon Pavilion, World Drums Concert led by John Wire, Shannon Gunn, Skywalk, Kent Meridian Jazz Ensemble, Images in Vogue, Peter Noon, Alvin Lee Open for Steppenwolf. Many of the concerts were hosted by Red Robinson, Vancouver DJ. These concerts were held at the Open Air Expo Theatre. The Festival of Independent Recording Artists, a concert series promoting local bands, was cancelled on the first night after a performance by Slow devolved into a riot. Other artists who had been scheduled to appear in that series included Art Bergman. Comedians, Bill Cosby, Bob Newhart, Bob Hope, Red Skelton, Joan Rivers, Howie Mandel, George Burns and Danny Kaydance, Mikhail Baryshnikov, The Royal Ballet, Cheremosh Ukrainian Dance Company, Ukrainian Shumka Dancers Directors, Norman Jewison, George Cosmatos Rambo, First Blood Part II Oceanographer, Jacques Cousteau. <laughs> Facts and figures Official theme, "'Transportation and Communication' Sub-theme, "'A Celebration of Ingenuity' 
Total attendance number, 22,111,578 Operating dates, May 2, 1986, to October 13, 1986 Chief Architect, Bruno Freschi Official mascot, Expo Ernie, a life-sized robot Revenues, $491 million Expenditures, $802 million Deficit, $311 million Economic contribution, $3,700 million Note, all amounts in Canadian funds, not adjusted for inflation Main expo site size, 670,000 cubic metres, 165 acres Canadian pavilion size, 24,000 cubic metres 6 acres, 4.5 kilometres away from the main site connected by Vancouver's SkyTrain Total expo site size, 700,000 square metres 173 acres 54 official participating nations Antigua and Barbuda, Australia Barbados, Belgium, Brunei Canada, China, Cook Islands, Côte d'Ivoire, Costa Rica, Cuba, Czechoslovakia Dominica Fiji, France Germany, Grenada Hungary Indonesia, Italy Japan Kenya Malaysia, Mexico, Montserrat Nauru, Norway Pakistan, Papua New Guinea, Peru, Philippines Romania St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Saudi Arabia, Senegal, Singapore, Solomon Islands, South Korea, Spain, Sri Lanka, Switzerland Thailand, Tonga United Kingdom, United States, USSR Vanuatu Western Samoa and Yugoslavia Topic. Legacy In all, 22 million people attended the Expo and, despite a deficit of $311 million CAD, it was considered a tremendous success. It remains to date the second biggest event in British Columbia history and is viewed by many as the transition of Vancouver from a sleepy provincial backwater to a city with global clout. It marked a strong boost to tourism for the province. Many have also seen the fair as being at least partially responsible for the re-election of the Social Credit Party for its final term as a provincial government. Today, the western half of the site has and is continuing to be developed into parks and high-rise condominiums. The eastern portion was used for the annual Molson Indy race, until it was cancelled in late 2004. Future plans call for the eastern third of the site to be developed into parkland and condominiums. The western third of the site is presently owned by the real estate investment firm Concord Pacific, which has its primary shareholder the Hong Kong billionaire Li Ka Shing. The redevelopment took longer than expected. Set the standard for development in 1990s. These new neighborhoods delivered substantial contributions to public infrastructure and overall livability, integrating community amenity contributions (CACs) into the development process, thus enabling the construction of important public infrastructure as the city grows, which has become a signature part of Vancouverism, an urban development process and style for which the city has become world famous. The southeastern section of the site just underneath the former Expo Center was redeveloped for use as part the Olympic Village for the 2010 Winter Olympics. After the Olympics, it will also be redeveloped into condos and park land. Expo 86 will be remembered for the warm, friendly spirit that existed among the exhibitors, staff, 8,000 volunteers and visitors. According to Kim O'Leary, Topic State of Expo 86 Attractions Some of the lasting contributions of Expo 86 to the city of Vancouver include, SkyTrain, a fully automated elevated advanced rapid transit system. The first line was built intending partially to serve Expo, with construction beginning in the autumn of 1982 and revenue service opening in December 1985. 
SkyTrain has since become the backbone of the city's metropolitan transit system Metro, and the system has been extended six times, including three minor expansions to the original Revenue Line Expo Line in 1989, 1990, and 1994. Two additional Metro lines, the Millennium Line and the Canada Line, were built in 2001 and 2009, respectively, with the Millennium Line being extended to Coquitlam by the Evergreen Extension in 2016. Construction of guideway, station, and train retrofitting of the entire Expo Line are underway as of 2012. Today, SkyTrain transports over 350,000 passengers daily. SkyTrain uses its original 1985–86 Expo fleet of trains Bombardier, UTDC Mark I as part of daily revenue service, and newer trains that have additional capacity and more advanced technology Mark II, Mark III. Expo Center, Science World, an interactive educational center with an OMNIMAX cinema. It opened May 2, 1986, as the Expo Center. Between 1989 and 1990, after much public support, the building was expanded, and in late 1990, it opened to the general public as a science museum, Science World. In 2005 the name was changed to Science World at TELUS World of Science, BC Play Stadium, all-purpose domed sports stadium primarily for the Vancouver Whitecaps FC and BC Lions, home of the opening of Expo 86. The stadium was also home of the 2010 Winter Olympic Games, opening and closing ceremonies. BC Place opened June 19, 1983. SkyTrain Stadium Chinatown Station, then, Stadium Station was built for this landmark in 1985, and has since served all major sporting and concert events since 1986. In May 2010, the landmark Teflon roof was deflated, and it was replaced with a new retractable roof as well as overall structural upgrades and a complete interior design makeover. BC Place reopened on September 30, 2011 as the world's largest cable-supported retractable roof stadium. Canada Place The Canada Government Pavilion is now a major downtown convention centre and cruise ship docks. It has seen major use over the years and was expanded to allow for bigger cruise ships to dock in 1999. In 2009, a companion building immediately to the northwest was completed. SkyTrain's terminus waterfront station served Canada Place in 1986. A special shuttle train between Waterfront and Stadium Station was used throughout the duration of the fair to get patrons between the Canada Pavilion and Main Expo site along False Creek. Plaza of Nations – This space has been used as an outdoor concert venue and public plaza with the surrounding buildings used as office space and nightclubs. Since Expo ended, the glass canopy that was connected to the adjacent office buildings was found unsafe and torn down, while in 2007 it was decided that the office buildings will be demolished. The BC. Pavilion structure remains, and is now the site of the Edgewater Casino. Once the offices are demolished it will leave Canada Place, the BC. Pavilion and the TELUS World of Science as the only remaining structures from Expo directly left on the Expo site. After the fair closed, many of the attractions were auctioned off to buyers. The dispersed Expo 86 buildings include Monorail, now located at Alton Towers Theme Park in England, McBarge, officially Friendship 500, a floating McDonald's has been abandoned in the waters of Burrard Inlet, Burnaby, locally known as McDerelect. It can be seen when riding the West Coast Express. Moved to Maple Ridge, British Columbia in 2015 for refurbishment. Spaceship McDonald's The spaceship motif from the restaurant was dismantled and the wings were removed. The remodeled pieces were then shipped to Sekelt and reconstructed as a lighthouse to go atop the lighthouse pub. China Gate, donated by the Chinese government to the city of Vancouver. The landmark was relocated in 1987 to Pender Street in Vancouver's Chinatown. China Gate Cafe was dismantled and moved to Sekelt, BC and is now the home to the Lighthouse Pub. World's largest ice hockey stick, now in Duncan, British Columbia at the local hockey rink. Scream Machine Roller Coaster, now Ninja at Six Flags St. Louis. 
Spirit Catcher Sculpture, now installed along the waterfront of Barrie, Ontario. Inukshuk, once used at the Northwest Territories Pavilion, was relocated to English Bay Beach in 1988. It was an inspiration for the logo for the 2010 Winter Olympics. Site furniture, all sorts of brightly painted remnants were relocated to the Pacific National Exhibition on East Hastings Street, and to other parks and public areas in Greater Vancouver. Folklife Pavilion – Most of the Folklife Pavilion buildings were dismantled into pieces, shipped by barge and reconstructed as the Folklife Village, the main shopping centre on Gabriola Island, BC. UFOH 2O – The water park is now at Mount Leighton Hot Springs Resort in Terrace, British Columbia. Dragon Boats – The six teak wooden boats used to celebrate Hong Kong Pavilion Day by holding a Dragon Boat Racing Festival were raced annually for a number of years before being put into dry dock. In 2015 the original six, plus three more teak and six Taiwanese Dragon Boats, were transferred to Salmon Arm, BC and completely restored. Expo building modules, numerous former pavilion structures were disassembled and reconstructed, largely for industrial use throughout the Lower Mainland, and few have survived to 2013. They can be identified by their distinctive peaked corners with exposed tubular girders. They can be found at Tilbury Industrial Park in Delta, British Columbia. Russian Pavilion – The Russian Pavilion had a special roof designed with triangles which allowed for maximum floor space coverage without any beams coming down to support it save for the outside of the building. It was dismantled and relocated now housing machinery at the Kruger Products paper plant in New Westminster British Columbia. Bench seating – Iconic painted wire grid bench seating, colored as the different zone colors of the fair, with formed concrete bases and the 86 logo branded into the sides can be seen at various locales around the Greater Vancouver area, notably along the White Rock Beach Promenade. Log Flume Ride shipped across Canada on 16 large trucks and installed at Upper Clements Parks in the Annapolis Valley, Nova Scotia. Pier A large steel pier constructed for use during Expo is now in use on the north side of Keats Island as the main dock for Barnabas Landing. For years it was light green and pink the original colors, but it has been painted a uniform blue. Reunions A group of former Expo 86 employees conducted a 20th anniversary reunion for Expo participants on May 2, 2006, at the Plaza of Nations site. A group of former BC Pavilion employees celebrated the 20th anniversary of the close of Expo 86 at a reunion on October 13, 2006, at the former Expo Center now renamed the TELUS World of Science. Celebrating 25 years since its opening of Expo 86, Vancouver is Awesome and Yelp teamed up and threw a party at Science World on May 6, 2011. Topic. Scandal In 1988, the site was sold to the Concord Pacific Development Corporation for a fraction of the original cost, a move that proved to be extremely controversial. Premier William van der Zalm and Peter Toygo were accused of influence peddling in the sale. Topic. Accidents. While opening the World's Fair, Diana, Princess of Wales briefly fainted onto her husband in a crowded hall in the California Pavilion. She recovered quickly in the washroom, and left half an hour later. Prince Charles later said that her fainting spell was a result of heat and exhaustion. However, the princess confessed several years later that it was actually caused by not having kept down any food for several days, the result of her eating disorder. She was chastised by her husband for not fainting gracefully behind a door. On May 9, 1986, nine-year-old Karen Ford of Nanaimo, BC died at the Canadian Pavilion. She was crushed while on a revolving turntable that connected two semicircular theatres in the pavilion. 
The revolving table was shut down for some time after the accident, but was put back in service with a number of new safety measures. In popular media The Vancouver-based indie band said the whale recorded a song called, ''False Creek Change'' about the changes that Expo 86 brought to the area. The song starts, ''False Creek changed in 86, the year Expo exploited her shore, it's been 22 years laying down bricks, there's no room for me here anymore. Death Cab for Cutie, from nearby Bellingham, Washington, also has a song entitled, Expo 86, on their album Transatlanticism. Scenes from Vancouver some of the Expo have appeared in a video edition of the song, If I Had Wings, composed in 1986 by children's singer, songwriter Hap Palmer. Cheers episode, Money Dearest. Featured Cliff Clavin discussing his return from Expo 86. The band Wolf Parade also released an LP entitled Expo 86 in 2010. Archie Comics put out a special edition where they came to Expo 86. See also World's Fair Official website of the B. 1986 in Canada Vancouver British Columbia Canada 2010 Winter Olympics Expo 67 in Montreal Canadian National Exhibition in Toronto Pacific National Exhibition in Vancouver Gasal Transitions <laughs>